Do you know that in today's society, our technology has become so advanced, we use it to check our banking account, to create and schedule our dates, to creating the most powerful military defense. None come as close as the one we bring home. And I'm talking about your typical PC. Basic computers, from laptops to tablets, to now possessing the most innovative technology to ever create it at the palm of your hands. But do you know how technology came to be? How do we come to where we are at the very moment? It all started with one man, one person, the very same man who created the very first technology in the 1600s. Let's go back to that date and find out how it came to be. Charles Babbage was born on December 26, 1791, the son of Benjamin Batchby, a London banker. As a youth, Babbage was his own instructor in algebra, of which he was passionately fond, and was well read in the continual mathematics of his day. Upon entering Trinity College, Cambridge, in 1811, he founded himself far in advance of his own tutors in mathematics. Babbage co-founded the Analytic Society for promoting a continual mathematics and reforming the mathematics of neutron then taught at the university. In his 20s, Babbage worked as a mathematician particularly in calculus of function. He was elected a fellow of the Royal Society in 1860 and played a prominent part in the foundation of the Astronomical Society, later Royal Astronomical Society, in 1820. It was about this time that Babbage first acquired the first interest in calculating the machinery that became his consuming passion for the remainder of his life. In 1821, financial machine to compile mathematical tables. On completing it in 1832, he was convinced that the idea of a better machine that could perform not just one mathematical task, but any kinds of calculation. This was the analytic engine invented in 1856, which was attended as the general symbol of multiplier and had some of the characteristic of today's computers. And that's the brief history of Charles Babbage, the man who created the very first computer. If it weren't for that steam power contraction, we would not be here at this very moment. Mankind continues to progress into the new age by creating a sophisticated piece of technology, allowing us to adapt whenever we create something that will help improve our lives. In a digital world, many people have considered that technology can be very beneficial, but at also the same time, it can be very unbeneficial as well. But today, for me, myself, I am very privileged and honored to say that technology has done more than improve my life and helped me build a career in the future of the computer science, which, by the way, is also credited to Charles Babbage himself. And also, I'd like to thank everybody who uh, watched this video, and I hope you enjoyed the brief history of Charles Babbage, the man responsible for creating the very first computer.